In this video, we are going to look at right turns at traffic lights. We will look at the general errors and uh, critical errors when you're turning right at the traffic lights. All right, uh, so now let's look at the critical errors uh, when you're turning right at the traffic lights. Now the first one is uh, pretty uh, straightforward, um, but still a lot of people, they still fail on this. Um, the first critical error is you're turning right from a wrong lane. Now if the intersection is empty, then it's pretty straightforward. Um, when you're turning right, you have to stay closer to the right curb. So you keep your turn nice and tight, closer to the curb here if you're turning right let's say uh, if you if you're turning right from this side something like this then it becomes a critical error because now you're too far from the curb here um, same idea somebody else gonna come into the space maybe cyclists or maybe you know there's another car that's gonna squeeze in so if you're turning right you always stay on the right hand side unless unless um, there is a parked car or the lane is closed uh, maybe construction going on then you can turn right from the other lane so let's say if uh, if there is a parked car right over here okay now this car is parked now in this situation it doesn't give you any other option that means you you have to turn from the second uh, lane when you're far from the curb now let's look at another example so let's say maybe the car is uh, not super close to the intersection maybe the car is parked over here okay so this one is a parked car now when you're approaching to the intersection you're gonna go around the car but after that you have to pull back to your side to complete your right turn okay if you start turning if you start turning from uh, this side like that if you don't pull back to the right side that's gonna be a critical error so here uh, we have uh, another example. Now the difference is uh, right now we have a bicycle lane uh, on the right hand side. So we see a solid um, double line uh, indicating it's a bicycle lane and um, then uh, the far right lane is only for parking. We're going to be turning right at the traffic light. So what we do is as we approach to the intersection when the line breaks from a solid white when it becomes a broken white so right now here the line is broken white that's when I do right shoulder check and my signal should be on about 30 meters before the intersection I want to turn on then I have to go in the uh, right lane closer to the curb if I start to turn right from this lane here uh, that's gonna be automatic fail so here I do right shoulder check I move over to the right side closer to the curb and then I wait for the light to turn green when the light is green that time I can go or right turn on a red light is optional so here if I want there's no prohibited sign um, no pedestrian or cyclist on the sidewalk so I can also turn right on a red light okay so here we're gonna look at one more example uh, we are approaching the intersection we are going to turn right see this white car here now it's a little bit far from the intersection so that means I have to go in the right lane first uh, to take my right turn and this black sign indicate from the right lane I can only go right I cannot go straight from the right lane so I <coughs> signal shoulder check move over to the right side and then I can make a full stop before the stop line and same idea here if I want I can turn right on a red light or I can simply wait for the light to turn green the next one is uh, you're stopping on a uh, solid green light so for example, like in this um, this situation here, I'm going to turn right and as I'm approaching to the intersection, I'm already checking everything. So my light is green, there's no pedestrian on the sidewalk here. So that means I'm good to go. If I stop on a green light, that's going to be an automatic fail in the driving test. The next one is um, fail to yield to pedestrian. So we will use uh, this example again. So as I'm uh, approaching to the intersection, as I said, I'm checking for pedestrian cyclist on the crosswalk here or on the sidewalk. And if I see a pedestrian here, that means they get the right of way. Then I wait for the pedestrians. But if there's no pedestrian, no cyclist, um, that means I don't need to stop on uh, there. I just slow down to uh, slow down for my turn 
and uh, then I proceed so let's look at uh, another example we are turning right here so same thing we have another car uh, trying to turn right on a red light now uh, what I want to point out here is that we also have cyclist on the sidewalk so when the light turns green so I have to wait for them and uh, let them go first so this guy uh, this guy is turning right on a red and uh, so we uh, I move forward now the light turns green now I have to wait for the cyclist to uh, let them go first and when the cyclists are gone after that I go in the first uh, available lane so here uh, we have another example right now uh, we are stopping and waiting for the light to turn green and now the light is green and when I stopped behind the car uh, I was maintaining my distance um, you want to have like at least um, about a car length distance is good you should be able to see the back wheels now as I'm um, approaching the intersection I'm already checking on the sidewalk here so it looks like the light is green and there's no pedestrian crossing on the sidewalk now look guys um, this white car here went in the wrong lane okay and we will talk about that um, um, that as well so after your turns you always go in your first lane first unless you see a parked car in the first lane so like let's say if there is a parked car within 30 meters then I go in the next lane but if there's no parked car like in this example there's no parked car that means I have to turn in the right lane first uh, and then uh, I after that I can change my lane so what this white car did here was uh, wrong and that's gonna be uh, an automatic fail so let's uh, watch that again so he was uh, he was turning right and uh, instead of going in the first lane he just uh, took the second lane so the next um, critical error we have is uh, going through amber light so so far there is a green arrow as you can see um, green arrow there uh, that means you're good to go but at some point the arrow gonna change from green to amber and as you're approaching towards the intersection if your examiner think when you see amber arrow like this and uh, let's say if you go through the amber arrow and uh, if your examiner think you should have stopped you had enough time to stop like the road condition is good uh, you were still quite far from the intersection when uh, when the arrow went from green to amber so if your examiner think you had enough time to stop and you should have stopped but you just went through the amber arrow amber light um, that's gonna be a critical error so on this intersection we are just using this amber arrow as an example but uh, it's the same thing uh, with the amber light so when you see amber light uh, sometimes you can go through it if you are already committed you can just go through it because you don't want to slam on the brakes but sometimes uh, you have to stop it just depends on the situation and if your examiner think you had enough time to stop it was safe to stop and you did not stop then it will be a critical error alright folks uh, so here's a perfect example for you as I'm driving right now the light is green but now it changes amber so now you can see the light is amber I'm still quite far from the intersection and uh, my speed is approximately about uh, 50 kilometers so that means I have enough time to stop and the road condition is pretty good uh, the roads are dry in this situation if I don't stop here that's gonna be a critical error alright folks uh, so the next uh, critical error is uh, turning right on a red light uh, without making a full stop so here uh, we have a red light uh, so I made a full stop before the stop line so let's uh, look at one more example so here we are going right at the traffic light so now I'm going to change lane to the right uh, first of all this black sign indicates I can only go right from this lane I cannot go straight now I see a stop line here so I'm going to make a full stop before the stop line the front bumper of your car it should not go over the line now the light is red so that means I have to make a full stop not a rolling stop a full stop if you're doing a rolling stop um, at any time in your driving test doesn't matter on the traffic lights stop signs uh, it's gonna be automatic fail so it has to be a full stop after that uh, I can look for the sign so I don't see any prohibited sign here so that means again I can turn right on a red light as long as the road is clear there's no pedestrian crossing there's no cyclist um, and you also need to check traffic coming from the left side because they have a green light here so if you 
decide to go right on a red light, uh, make sure you check everything. So here we see a green light. I'm checking pedestrian cyclist and I'm turning in the first lane staying closer to the curb and after that I can change lane uh, if I want so I can stay in this lane or I can uh, change lane alright folks uh, so now some intersections uh, you're gonna see a sign a prohibited sign uh, no right turn on a red light for um, certain hours so for example on this intersection if you check on this side here so we got this prohibited sign it says no right turn on a red light Monday to Friday from 7 in the morning until 5.30 p.m. So it says 17.30 which is 5.30 p.m. So Monday to Friday during those hours you cannot turn right on a red light. You have to wait for the green light to uh, complete your right turn. Same thing uh, on this side here we got that same sign no right turn on a red light. And we have same sign on this side here which I will show you. So as you can see we got same sign on this side here no right turn on a red light and on this side as well no right turn on a red light. Maybe there's going to be a prohibited sign like this so that means you're not allowed to go right on a red light if you try to turn right uh, when there was a sign uh, that's going to be a critical error. Uh, or sometimes you know some people I had they were trying to turn right on a red light but there was a pedestrian coming or traffic coming from the opposite side. Uh, they did not see that and um, then they got automatic failure. Alright folks, uh, so we got one more critical error and this one is you are turning right on a red light when it's not allowed. Now, not a lot of people they know about this. So, um, on this intersection we don't have any prohibited sign and the light is right now, the light is red. So you might be thinking that I'm good to go, but there's one more thing that I need to check. So yes, I'm checking prohibitor sign, I'm checking pedestrian cyclist, I'm checking traffic coming from the left side, but there's one more thing that I need to check and that is that this traffic light right here. So if I see a green arrow on this light, that means this traffic has a right of way. And it doesn't matter if there is a any car coming from that side or not but if if you see this green arrow is flashing that means you can't turn right on a red light at 